Hello gamers and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins Let's Play uh, of Coolest Gamer Part 81 uh, Was this when I re realized how to upgrade weapons? This feels familiar. I've probably been to this exact same blacksmith before. Sold all that extra shit I didn't need. Man, they really give you a pittance for these fucking rare weapons. I mean, at this scale, it's like level 40, I'm gonna get what, like 300 something, almost 400 gold for a rare? Legendary sell for quite a pretty penny more. I'm sure that a level 40 legendary would be worth quite a lot, but. Like, this level 1 legendary is a 3,000. Yeah, that, I knew I got rid of something. See you later. Oh, no, I upgraded it? Yeah, I upgraded it. <laughs> Whoops, don't mind me. Oraka loves. I am so hungry. Can't wait till this is over so I can go eat some Thanksgiving ham. I don't know, maybe I won't eat Thanksgiving dinner today. I was gonna spend Thanksgiving with the duck, but ah! It's like not doing a late night. Yeah, we're we're your guards, dumbass. It's our job. <clears throat> Running out of good titles for these videos. The quality of the titles is clearly dipped. I'm glad that I'm over the hump with this series. It's probably this coming into the final lap. So let's see if the guards see me. This is funny. They should have put guards on the sides. <laughs> Too easy, son. It won't be long before he comes to. I need to bring him back to Theodore. This guy is talking to himself right behind them. It's obviously not their employer. So I, yeah, I, was, I meant to jump over the banister first, but. I went out the side on accident, and they saw me. And I just run. I didn't even have to- those guards, they got to keep their life. I think. Now their employer was a dick to them, they didn't deserve to die. Seems like the Romans are just the people that everyone hires regardless of their ethnicity. It doesn't matter if you're Roman, Greek, Egyptian, or whatever. Roman guards are just the stock soldiers that everyone hires. I mean, you yeah, occasionally get some Egyptian soldiers peppered in there, but I think what they're trying to say is that the bad guys most of the time are Romans. The occasional Egyptian soldier is, you know, the occasional traitor person who sold out to the imperialists. The imperators. I wish that this game was more interesting to talk about. That's why I'm hoping that in future games that I LP that that will be the case. I'll say it for the billionth time. I have to see this through. Because I'm obsessionist. Obsession completionist. Obsessively completionist. I don't know. That, that's the title. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha, got it. Let's get him off the fucking horse. Is he asleep? I don't understand why he hasn't said anything. I don't know how someone who's sleeping could sit up on a horse. Well done. 
I mean, horse, horses, they sleep on their feet, the but meantime, I don't think a human can do something Some like sleep sitting up. Meet with them and wait for my arrival. Now he seems to be we awake. An end to that Necotiodet. A scribe who knows his way around Karanis. Kratos, where is he? That name means nothing to me. Don't think us fools, please. Stop. Worst liar ever. Break your fingers. No, then your No, wrists. don't. Where is Teratos? I mean, he was going to get tortured anyway, but wait for my He could he could work on the tone of voice when he lies. I have no idea who that is. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Give it a lick, mmm, it tastes just like raisins. With a stroke of its mane, it comes back again and turns into a plane. When you tug on its winky, oh, that's sturdy. Do you think so? Well, I better not show you where the lemonade is made. Sweet lemonade, mmm, sweet lemonade. Sweet lemonade, yeah, sweet lemonade. Get on my horse, I'll take you around the universe and all the other places too. I think you'll find that the universe pretty much covers everything. Shut up, woman, get on my horse. You can find the other rebels. Thank you, guys. I do other Johnny Cash covers, but that's my favorite song by Johnny Cash. I think it's called Amazing Horse. Really talks about the fantastical daydreams of the inland Native American peoples as they look at the wild mustangs out in the field. And also the occasional Datsun or Honda. I don't know who I was aiming at there. There's gonna be a hell of a sniper shot across the map sniper shot. Which, by the way, I pull off some of those later in the game. So that's an incentive to keep watching. Wait, wait until 30 editions from now on, you get to see some really sweet arrow drop kills. Fayum, Fayum, it's off the work we go to kill more people in generic quest objectives. Fayum, 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 Marum, Babum, Badum, Babum, Badum, Babum, Fayum, 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 Fayum. You must not pay. I feel so alleged with this guy right now. I have this great emotional connection to this Roman right now. We're fighting together. <laughs> oh, that's a little late there. What the fuck? Just because he stepped in the fire for a second, really? Man, I just saved that guy's life. And they killed me. All because I threw a firebomb that the idiot later stepped into. Really do the worst. Do the worst. I just wanted that crocodile hide. I'm just a simple traitor slash assassin. Mm. That was cool. It's like a flamingo with a bunch of mallards. a nice little locale up here. I like this. I think I was just there. It just looked very attractive. I wanted to ride up to it. Up on the little plat there. Looked very nice. Get out of here, birds. Oh! 
Oh, it's Karenice again, that's where I got this fat. Alright. I think I'm going after a Papyrus or something. Or no, I'm probably getting the synchronization slot. Uh, maybe the, the treasure down there? Sometimes I animus pulse thinking it will show me the locations of guards. It's a little hopeful and totally unrealistic, obviously. Die! Roman Nekitia Teto! It's a classical Egyptian song. When Egyptians were out in the killing fields killing Romans, they would sing that. Reaping lives left to right with their sides, hey! leaving no one in sight. There's a famous Egyptian rap verse. I think something is out here. Focus. Right. MC Crocodilopolis. Right. Hit him. What the fuck? I pressed triangle, by the way. Hey! My sprite just jumped clear over him and missed. It's ridiculous. Sometimes he'll literally like like a homing missile just hone in on the target perfectly. He'll even like move in an unnatural way in order to get the kill and it doesn't make any sense. Like how would he possibly do that? But then, you know, if you get a little leap like that, you can just go straight over your target and miss. It's, it's absurd. It's ridiculous. I wonder what playtesting group was playing this game and they were like, yeah, I would buy the shit out of this and play it for 300 hours. Wouldn't get frustrating or grating at all. Sometimes my video does that. I don't know what the fuck it is. I did not put... I'm very lazy with my editing on this series, so I did not put two videos together or edit for that effect. Like, I have such a disdain for this game that I refuse to put that much effort into it. And sometimes it, the recording just hiccups like that. I don't know. Instructions for some generic quest objective. You get the idea of the picture there. It's some underground tomb. They want to put a bunch of food in it or something. Store all the grain they're stealing from the people. The struggle is real. Blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 We did it. Objective complete. I don't know why I went here. I was like, I have to go there. I think I ran into that place on the way to get the papyrus. All the more reason I need to start doing live commentary again in the next series. Well. I mean, it's a given I'm going to do live commentary for Resident Evil 7, because I want all my natural reactions to be recorded. But from now on, I think with all games, I'm going to start just doing live. Then I don't have to do footage, and then later do voice track on the footage, and then upload. It could just be footage, upload, footage, upload. That makes it easier for me anyway. Also, for some reason, I think the audio sounds a little bit better when it's in in game. Probably because it goes off of the mic levels that I have set in the audio settings, rather than off of like the ridiculous amplification that Share Factory uses. Like I have to set my audio track to ten percent volume every time, or else it would just be like a wall of sonic diarrhea in your ears. I know my voice is already a little garbly, but you would not be able to handle 100% guys, let me tell you. <gasps> that man is running! Who runs? What a madman! Oh, he's climbing the pillar. That dude was so alarmed that I was sprinting, and then this chick was just like, Chichere. She was like, neat. She must be high on some lotus flower or something. This statue is cool. He's 
got a dog. I like dogs. Doggos. Yeah, so I found out the other day, too. Bayek will pet cats, but he will not pet dogs. And that made me really angry. I know he's Egyptian and everything, but come on. Have some respect and love for the doggos. I think dogs were considered, like, the slaves to cats or something. There's some kind of class hierarchy symbolism bullshit. Like the cats are the royals and the dogs are the working class or something. So I suppose Bayek is just culturally influenced by that. Yes. Try not to trample this. Oh yeah, the detective. My apologies. This quest. As a protector, I am attracted to such scenes. It's really annoying. A fellow protector? Ah, yes, I see your badge. You are a Magi. From the old kingdom? Wow. Forgive me, this gruesome business has us all on edge. Huh? Yeah, this yeah. is the latest in a series of chilling ritual murders by uh, wadget cultists. To be honest, I'm a little out of my depth. Oh, well, the good thing I'm here because I have this thing I'm called an animus pulse. It's new technology. See you next time, guys.